Nehemiah chapter number 6. Um, we have been dealing with the book of Nehemiah. This is one of the richest book for any leader. You know, kita kuongoza jamii, kita kuongoza kanisa, kita kuongoza serikali, any area of leadership. If you can read the book of Nehemiah, it is one of the best books in leadership that you can never have. Bwana suwe sana. And um, there is a man who has done um, a very good book called Spiritual Leadership. His name is Blackaby, and um, he has written a very powerful book called Spiritual Leadership, and he has drawn a lot from uh, Nehemiah. And I think I, I also love the book of Nehemiah, and especially when you read without going through the commentaries, you first read it. So you comment it for yourself. It is powerful. You get to see things. We, call, we say seeing meat, you know, in the world. And um, chapter 4, that is where we stopped on Wednesday. And so um, let's go together. Chapter 4, uh, Nehemiah. Did I say 6 or 4? Sorry, chapter 4. Chapter 4. Chapter 4. I read uh, chapter 6, but last week we stopped at chapter 4. So uh, let's read together. The Bible says, Then St. Barat heard that we were building the wall. He became angry and was greatly incensed. He ridiculed the Jews and in the presence of his associate and the army of Samaria, he said, What are those feeble Jews, uh, Jews doing? Will they restore their war? Will they offer sacrifices again? Uh, will they finish in a day? Can they bring the stones back to life from those heaps of rubble? Uh, the Bible says, uh, rubble, sorry, burned as they are. Tobiah the Ammonite was at the assigned saint. What they are building, even a fox climbing up on it will break down the wall of stones. Here, our God, for we are despised. Turn their insult back to their um, uh, back on their own hands. Give them over as plunder in a land of captivity. Do not cover up their guilt or brought out their sin from their sight, from from your sight, for they have thrown insult in the face of the builders. So we build the wall till all of it reached up its height, for the people worked with all their hearts. Another version will say, for the people worked with one heart. When Sanibarat, Tobiah, the Arab and the Amorite, and the people of Ashon hand that the repairs to Jerusalem's war and gone ahead, and the gaps were being closed, they were very hungry. They all protested together to come and they fight against Jerusalem and they start up trouble against it. But we plan to our God had posted a guard day and night to meet this threat. Meanwhile, the people of Judah said, The strength of the laborers is giving out, and there is so much rubble that we cannot rebuild the wall. Also, our enemy said, Before they know it or see us, we will, write, um, we will be right among them and kill them and put an end to the work. Then the Jews who lived near them came and told them uh, told us ten times over wherever you turn they will attack us therefore I stationed some of uh, some of the people behind the lowest point of a war um, at the exposed places posting them by families uh, with their sworn spears and bows after I looked uh, things over I stood up and they sent to the nobles and the officials and the rest of the people, do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord, who is great and awesome, and they fight for your families, your sons and your daughters, your wives and your homes. When our enemies heard that we were aware of their plot and that God had frustrated it, if we all returned to the work, each of our each to our own work. From that day on, um, Half of the men did the work, while the other half were equipped with the spears, shield, bows, and a hammer. The officers posted themselves behind all the people of Judah who were building the wall. 
Those who carried materials did their work with one hand and held um, a weapon in the other. And each of the builders wore a sword at the side as he worked. But the men, the men who sounded the trumpet stayed with them. Then I said to the nobles, the, the officials, and the rest of the people, the work is extensive and spread out, and we are widely separated from each other along the wall. Wherever you hear the sound of a trumpet, join us there. Our God will fight for us. So we continue the work with half the men holding spears from the first light of dawn till the stars came out. At that time, I also said to the people, have every man with his helper stay inside Jerusalem at night so they can serve us, they can serve us as guard by night and the workers by day. Neither I nor my brothers nor my men nor the guard with me took off our clothes. Each had a weapon even when we went for, the, for water. Praise the Lord. Now, Let's, I decided to read all that passage because it is very important that you read the scripture for yourself. Even what you have read again and again is okay because there are things, I mean, faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. Now, chapter 4, there are a number of things I'm sure you have seen as we read uh, through the, the Bible. Number one, we, we, we stop when I say that any God's work will attract opposition. Do you remember that? And I said, the moment you, you, run, you, you, you find yourself in the right place, you land in your area of calling, I can guarantee you there will be opposition. So when you come, just know that there is an opposer of brethren, an accuser of brethren, and his name is called the devil. When I was saying, Kwa hivyo usiende kazi tu useme mimi nimeokoka naenda biguni kwa imani no there will be challenges the moment you get saved there will be challenges amen because you have moved from one kingdom to another so you should never cry oh you know mimi sijui shetani ananiuliza anga nini anakuuliza nini anakuuliza kwa nini ulitoka kwa ufalme wake amen so don't with there will be no mou at shetani usiniguze na mimi sitawahi kukuguza as long as you have moved, you have crossed from a side to the long side, you are an antagonistic, you know, opposing side. And I think it is um, Bishop Mwalidi who said that so well one time, he said, some people say they have never met the devil. And he says, and I tell them, then you are walking on the parallel direction, or you are going to us the same direction. But if you are going on the opposite direction, Mutakutana, Bwana Swesana. So, uh, don't worry, you have never met him. Keep on doing the things the Lord called you to do. Atatokelezea. Jonah Hagi one time says that uh, they were in a mall with his wife, and his wife got lost. So, Jonah Hagi looked for her, and she was not picking her phone. So, Akashindo Sasa, Nitampata, and the most in America can be as big as. Almost from here to almost uh, Karibu Donum, you know, and it's a mall. you know. So, Akakutana, a very beautiful woman, Akamambi, excuse me, ma'am, yes, please talk to me. Akamuliza, why? Akamambi, because the moment you start talking to me, my wife will show up. And for sure, as they were talking, the wife showed up. <laughs> so, when you want the enemy to show up, just do what the Lord has called you to do. He will show up. Amen. The moment he sees that you know what you are doing, he will show up. So, when Nehemiah and his people came to do the work of the Lord, immediately there was opposition. And you can see from verses 1, as long as nobody touched that wall, standing barat and steam, and no problem. The moment a man comes and he says, it is not right for Jerusalem the city of God to be unwarned and also the people who live here to be just like this. The military, the enemy rose. Number two, it's also going to note that the enemy will always ridicule what you do for God. 
ndio unaonanga watu wa kikenjeri hata wachungaji you know i was i was going through social media the other day and i realized the moment you show you can do a very nice preaching and people may not watch lakini yebu andika tu pastor kupatikana akiwa amekunywa pombe mbaya just to pastor na pombe mbaya you attract view amen just something that shows the wrong thing a pastor has done now and uh, people have known how to capture the attention of people hmm ebu enda weka kitu kwa facebook alafu useme this is how she died this is how alafu ushike uchukue you know Brian and Cynthia wakivurutana hivi hivi tu hivi tu hiyo wasigende wasifanya anything but the ending is this is how she died mtu atakuwa hapo through utakingoja kuona Cynthia alikufa namna gani i mean people want something like that the enemy too is provoked when this he sees that you are doing something for the lord now i want to say this because there are people who have come to me wananiambia mimi nimekasirika kwa sababu nilijitoa kuimba sasa kwa hiyo church hakuna mtu anataka niimbe my friend unataka nifanye nini nikutengenezee kaprupet kako peke yako ama uniimbi yangu asubuhi fight that battle it is your battle bwana jesus sana i said the other day i was preaching in zimaman and i told people the the lord god we serve who you mimi najua he will never call you for a empty land he said to the children of israel i am giving you land that falls with milk and honey but then he says it is occupied by amorites by jebusites by all these people he mentioned what is he saying the land i'm giving you is not empty that's why he is called the god that we say our god is a man of war and a man of war gives birth to men of war or children of war so he calls you to fight i tell you the truth serving god is warfare at unafikiri to ukija tu utakuasha alafu utakuwa naambia mtu amuka anaamuka kaa hapa na kaa wengine watakwambia zikai what will you do i listen to apostle um, M. bishop alison nganga and he says one time aliona alienda church akatengeneza akafika mapema alipofika akaona asha sawajafika akaamua afanya fanya kazi ya asharing kitabu asha siwafanya nini wafike akaenda akakuta mama amekuja mkutano mama anajua mkutano ni Harrison Nganga lakini amujui so amekuja amekaa mahali na tutoto wake na tumuzigo so akaja akamwambia mama tafadhali amuka ukuje ukae hapa huyo mama akamwambia urundishe mapepo yako huko you know ajui ni nani uchokie gomashi yako huko and he says when he was told that <laughs> aliheshimu ashas akaamua wacha asha wakuje wadi kama mtu ananiambia nirudishe mapepo na amekuja nimuhubirie what is that urudishe mapepo yako now imagine it is your first day as an asha umeongea brother bwana sifiwe kuja ukae hapa urudishe mapepo yako huko utaenda hiyo kanisa tena kweli and then unakuja kwangu mimi nasema mimi sijui yule kuambia hivyo simujui wakati uliambia urudisha mapepo i was still praying for the service kwa ofisi yangu sikuwa nimeteremka na umehama umewaka umenisomea deal with them either the way umwambie sina mapepo uko nayo ama ugudue ni mapepo inaonana i mean you have to fight and i want to tell you nehemiah the moment he said i have come to build opposition now this is how opposition come number one, it starts as ridicule you know na it it starts it starts you know slowly too <coughs> it starts you know slowly um it's just an opposition then becomes um 
ridicule and you can see it in verses 3 he ukuta wanajenga hapa hata boya akipitia juu chini and let me tell you we have been ridiculed wakati tuliyoka tuliambiwa hii ni wokovu ya ya majani ya maandisi hiyo ni wokovu ya majani ya nini the banana fiber fire you know the banana leaves you know in ya ujana and those people who told us that some of them backslid yetu ika ikaendelea ikatoka kuwa ya banana leaves ikaendelea ikawa kuni sasa sijui ni gani haizimiki bwana aziwe sana and if they can be ridiculed you know people can ridicule us on sasa hii ni nini mnafanya hapa when my bishop wrote the first book on marriage he was telling me how he went to send it kwa mkutano akiwa amefurahi sana mzee mmoja akamwambia gitari kabla hujauza ngoja kidogo mbu nisaidie na hiyo kitabu akapewa na ni kiongozi bishop mzima akaipitia bishop was a young man lakini yule anaongea ni bishop akaipitia akawapea story akamwambia kuna mtu mmoja alienda akaandika kitabu akasema hii kitabu inasuluhisha problem za jamii zote any problem akai market hiyo report ikafikia the king of the land king akamwambia i mean the queen hey queen ana vile alikuwa na mashinda ya jamii akatumana akasema niletee huyo mtu mwenye hiyo kitabu akaletwa alipofika akakuta the king is out but the queen was around wakafunga mlango akamwambia nisomee kitabu akimwambia huu kwa nyani unafanya hivi ukifika kwa hiyo unafanya hivi there was a knock at the door who is it the king has come back wow mama kufungua the king knocked again mama kufungua akamuliza why are you not opening akamwambia i have another man inside we jamaa akaanza kutetemeka mufalme sasa akaanza kugonga mlango akamwambia please give me a minute akachukua mzee akamuonyesha kikapu ilikuwa hapo akamwambia aende uingie ndani akaingia akafunikiwa akafanywa akaenda akamfunikiwa oh darling how are you akamwambia no, no don't call me darling who is that man akamwambia hii wewe na vikina unaweza kuwa mjinga hivi niwe na mwanaume huku na nikwambie tuko na mwanaume nilikuwa na kuchezea akasema oh akaja akafanya kile alikuwa anafanya akatoka akaenda alipoenda akafunga mlango akainua kikapu akamwambia toka akatoka akakaa hapo akamuuliza hivyo kumefanyika the way i've solved the problem iko kwa kitabu akamwambia iko hiyo haiko kwa kitabu akamwambia toka uende na usiwe idanganya watu ya kwamba hii kitabu ina solve all the marital problems now ule anaongea ameshika kitabu ya bishop sasa akasema aga kitabu ka kitari nako <laughs> nazunguka akindanganya watu can you imagine and this is a man i mean it is the day you have come you have talked about the book you are about to sell and then mtu anapeana your story anakokurudi na kusema aga ka kitabu nako kana wandanganya kakaona nini would you sell that book again amekumaliza haja kumaliza when i was writing my first book called to surf nikaita mtu wakati huo tulikuwa tumia floppy disk nikamuita nikamwekea floppy disk nikamdunga dugia hapo nikamwambia hapo niambie hii kitabu iko aje akaienda tu 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 baga chini akaniambia akatoa floppy disk akaniambia this cannot be a book when you are writing a book you need to ask yourself who is my audience number one. Number two, what am I telling the people? Number, aniambia vitu ine. Ama saba, aniambia vitu saba. Na story ikaisha. This cannot be the book. I gave up. Then I met Dr. Barene. And I told Dr. Barene, I was writing a book. Lakini mutu wakaniambia iwezi kuwa nini? Kitabu. Wakaniambia, let me look at it. Nikampea. Haka ipitia. Wakaniambia, apostle, this can be a very good book. That was 2008. Akaniambia go do this. Ongeza material hapa, ongeza material hapa. Nikaenda nikaongeza. Remember the first one I was told this cannot be a book. Huyu naye ameniambia you can hand a few chapters here and there to carry arrange. I did that book. I tell you the truth of all my books. 
Corn to serve is the most, you know, the book that I've sold the most copies of all my books. One time a man came all the way from Switzerland to look for that book. Can you imagine? Nakuja likuwa doctor in Isipe, akiwa hapo akanipigia, akaniambia serikali ya nikubali kutoka hapa, nilete vitabu. Nika a box of corn to serve and leadership pit force. He said, I wanted a number of this, ndiyo nikapatia wachungaji. Then another man in the U.S. called Solomon Naya Kaisoma. Akaniandika, akaniambia, man of God, this book is so powerful. Nimenunulia wachungaji shirini wakasome. Yet somebody told me, this cannot. I went one time in a meeting. I decided, you know, in Kenya, we would sell it at 500 shillings. Like in Nipoenda Mutu, akaniambia, that book is very powerful. Usiuse miatano. Sell it at $20. This book is very powerful. It is teaching you how to serve. Nini, nini. Ah, I could tosha. Kira get up two thousand, two thousand, two thousand. Nika toka nika cannot be a book. You should see what is happening. I have sold over five thousand copies. Can you imagine? And even when you look, even now, it is still selling. How did it begin? Opposition, but I refuse to be opposed. Amen. How many of us? God gave you an idea and it was opposed. When it is opposed, it is the first sign to know it is of the Lord. And then the next level is ridiculed. And then solve all the problems. You know, that is level, the level of ridicule. Amen. But let me tell you, that is how the enemy works. Learn to overcome that in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, let's go further. What else do we see in the book, in this book? The next level is intimidation. That's how the enemy opposes what God gives you. Or intimidation. You see it in verses number 11. What happened in verse 11? The Bible says, Also our enemy said, before they know it or see us, we will, right be there, we will be right there among them and we will kill them and put an end to this work. Now see the next level, intimidation. In this church, we have fought all this. Tume ingiriwa, oh, tuka ito wachawi, iyo ikutosha. Tuka perekwa the next level, devil worship us, bando iyo ikutosha, you know. The next time there are people who came in, you know, one time, some of you may not know, kuna wakati kayole likuwa mbaya, you know. Don't even talk about it. That time, things were bad, you know. Wakati yo unakuja, unatumwa watu, unakutano na watu, you know. And Sunday, we are still preaching. Intimidations. I remember one time, we tuliweka kurusenda hapa. Tukiwa hapo, wavijano wa mayogoja, tukamaliza, tulipomaliza kusete jukwa. Kimoja ikaigia kisema, na mubiri. Bila pesa ya waze. Kiyo na ule muze. Muzee hata si kama Brian Muse kijana mega 20 anaja Muse thank god brother wanda kaniambia usijali dad we simama ubiri tutajipanga huku chini tukahubiri kijana mmoja akaokoka ingawa alirudi sijui alienda wapi ben you remember yeah tulisukuma mpaka mtu akaokoka now intimidations then when you are through wanaachana na wewe bwana asifiwe sana so kuongewa ni level ya kwanza Ya pili ni kukenjeriwa Ya pili Ya tatu na physical intimidations Tuna kutumia watu Wewe utajiona Wewe utakipata One time ne, I was threatened here uh, Mbaka nikafika mahali nikasikia ni kama Enyewe ni tahama Mahana sasa unapata tu SMS Nini? Ai Ngine nikasema hata si tambia muke wangu za hawa Ntamweka stress Na pata tu SMS, uli ongea bari zetu, sisi ni wamonge. Ah. Siku moja mungu wakaniambia, wanakujua, lakini ya wakujui kama mimi, usiogope. So one day I was coming, nimetoka home, uh, niki, nikitoka kwa nyumba, jewel was, I think this size, ya uh, Abigail. Kaka chungulia, wambia, dad unaenda wapi? Nika wambia, naenda church. Haka niambia, usienda na gari. Listen to God, even when he uses children. Nika kachezea hivi hivi hivi, nika ingia kwa gari. Kwa hivi wea nime kwa mbi usiete na gari. Enda mugu. Kana ni command. 
nikashuka nikatembea mguu kufika hapa Comarock secondary i met a, a woman selling bananas five zimebaki tano nikanunua tu kumhurumia i even paid more ndio asile tu naurumia mama nikanunua zote nikaja nazo we used to use that gate nikiingia nikakuta vijana watano wakanizunguka hivi na niko na dizi ngapi wakaniambia umetoroka sana bakarini i never feared and i could see what they were carrying nikawapea kila mtu dizi moja 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 niambia basi kuleni hizo before we even talk nimeangalia hivi kaongea na kikuyu akasema aya nayo mato magado magato woga you know these are the people who make people go mad wakaangusha ndizi zangu wakaenda i have never seen them again you see and there are things god has taken us through so when you see me preaching and doing the things i do is because tumepita hiyo hali tumepambana hiyo sasa mimi hata nikiambiwa oh i don't mind hiyo nilipita tusimude sema mimi pia sema hii ni mchawi nianza kusema oh mimi mimi nakaa mchawi kweli mimi sijui bila wachawi wanakaanga if you think i look like one hiyo ni yako amen i've been to a place where people ask me are you a college i say yes because where do you naona mukaleji ni simu kenya wengine wananiuliza ah when i was in college i was accused to be a very proud kikuyu you know at yun mkikuyu anaongea ngi kikuyu sasa mimi nikiongea mtajua mimi si wenu na already mlishajua mimi ni wenu so wao wananiongelea kikuyu najibu na Kiswahili it took a long time for them to discover i was not one of them but what do they do now wakanikubali mmoja wao lakini yako ana pro amen are we together i went to the us nikakuta pia wana siasa yao wakanisa ya wa kikuyu ya wa college ya hawa sasa yetu ameru atuku wa wengi na kale kako ni methodist na jaribu kaubiri akatoi sauti amen so what i what happened is before they knew who i was walifikia muridhi wote ni wa kikuyu so within a short time kila mmoja oh ita muridhi ita muridhi i was everywhere on ya lola jabe no man ito ile to ishire tio ni ito you know they started thinking kumbe hii jamaa si yetu but you know what by the time you are you get to know you know what you have accepted me you you no longer think about the tribe now i become part of you one as your son and that's why it's going to play the kind of heaven that the kind of this powder is tuliwekewa na wazungu na wengine are we together so are you there going through intimidations don't give up when god has given you an assignment expect that to happen glory be to jesus okay now again in ch this chapter we see how to deal with opposition and i want us to look at nehemiah's strategy of dealing with opposition how did he do it he prayed prayer is very key for every leader and when you look at verses number four he prayed he did not look for his pastor he did not look for his father and mother he had kwa mungu the father in heaven he asked our god for we are despised and i love the way he is honest talking to the lord turn their insult back to their own hands give them over as plunder in a land of captivity do not cover up their guilt or brought out their sin from their sight from your sight for they have thrown insult in the face of the builders deal with them and look at the way he is praying when you find opposition please learn to talk to god amen talk to god i remember many years ago some of you saw um pastor tim uh bishop son when he was probably slightly bigger than abigail uh, bishop was very sick that time i was staying with him akagoncheka katafutwa ugonjwa upatikani and akafika mahali hawezi teremuka kwa stairs and the doctor could only go up to the bedroom to treat him na ugonjwa upatikani so this one day the boy came kaka teremuka kakaangalia kaka dogo tu kakamwambia don't come down come down i pray for you and the authority the boy was talking in was in another level bishop akajiteremka akateremuka tu amejishikilia 
anajishikiria mpaka chini mtoto anacheka anamwambia calm down calm down akaingia akaambiwa piga magoti put your hands together like this anafanya akaambiwa i want to teach you prayer manners na mtoto kaweka i mean the boy was talking like a grown up kakaenda kitchen that time we never knew things about anointing oil and nini kakaingia na mafuta ya rianto kakabwagiria baba yake mafuta ya rianto mafuta and then he prayed he said father god you can see my father is in a lot of pain a lot of pain god my father is in a lot of pain <laughs> can i check that? father heal my dad let me tell you that day the lord spoke to major koyet mamalea's husband and he came akamuchukua bishop akampeleka kwa next part kufika tu hivi ugonjwa wake ulipatikana hiyo siku that he had burned um what we call it, pneumonia at hiyo tu ingemuua but look at the small boy you know praying and this is how you used to pray very short prayer you know father papa unaona dadi anaumwa sana anaumwa sana muponye he dadi umepona anataka apone hapo hapo but let me tell you talk to god prayer has no bigger formula than yes your father talk to him and look at nehemiah hakuna ndimi nasikia hapo ndani zote zinasomeka so you see that hakuna leba ndoma hasa toyama do not hakamo ya posi ya tie cover up no anaiongea lugha tunaelewa do not cover up their guilt or blot out their sin from their side learn to talk to god amen father you can see this boss he has really messed my life since i came here i should have been promoted 10 years ago lakini anipend just because i don't come from a stripe anipend but lord i ask you deal with them hiyo ni ombi learn to pray amen learn to pray nehemiah prayed and then when he prayed he also prayed for strength he said lord strengthen us and i pray that you also learn to ask god to strengthen us kazi ya mungu inafanywa na nguvu ya mungu are you together ask god for the strength ugali power is not enough to strengthen you the strength of god is yes there is physical and then there is mental and then there is you know spiritual all that combined is the strength of the lord bwana sana pray that god is strengthen you the work you do remember they said what are these people jewish doing and then they said lord strengthen us glory be to jesus all right pray also number two what happens versus um, um the next level is even with this opposition nehemiah and his team continued building verse 6 so we built the wall till all of it reached half its height for the people worked with their heart now this is something i want you to know the enemy's agenda is to stop you from doing what god called you to do remember when the lord will come you ask you did you do what i asked you to do that's the question and you'll be there oh new shatani oh is this wife you gave me remember our father adam that's what he said lord you know i was good until when you gave me this woman anytime you came in the cool of a day was i not okay until you brought in this stranger now whatever reason you give to god did you do the work one of the work the enemy does is to distract you to make sure that you don't finish what you started because you must do the work god gives you until you finish it even jesus when he died on the cross he said it is finished i have done it to the end many of us we will not do it to the end and the bible says blessed is the man who will finish to the end for he shall give, be given a chance to eat from the tree of life how many of us will be paid you know in a fool for having finished but you know what we say 
Lord, I was opposed. Setani, Tobaya, Duguzake, Water I didn't get here, Water I didn't Zunguka, Wakansa Kungambaya, Mimini Kashana, your kid. That is the work of the enemy, so that you don't finish. My nephew, when he was a small boy, as he was growing, uh, you know, Kunapari Mutoto and Afkanga, Ananja, Lakini Akiri Namambia, and I was a Kulayo Sakurayot. Kunayo level, our Toto Akikua. The, their mind is not able to coordinate size ya tumbo yake na njaa yake na chakula so anaweza hata chukua mkingoja mkule kuku iwekerewe hapo aikarie anaona itoshi amini hii kuku ni ya watu watatu ugari <laughs> one time I was visited by some young men nikawapikia ugari Nik, wakakuta saide ni mwekerewe maji wakanuliza hiyo maji ni ya Nehambia ni yaugari. Hey. Oga na hiyo maji tutajipikia. So I used to have a sufuria when I was a bachelor. Nikuwa na sufuria moja kubwa. Yenye nikuwa naweka utensils. So walichukua waka mwaka utensils si chini. Wakaweka unga. I mean u maji kaja. Sufuria. Wakaja. Wakapika unga moja na nusu. We were just three men. Nika wauliza hii ni ya kuna watu wengine wana to join. Waka ambiwa relax. Ya. Yeah. Mini kafikiri pia <laughs> akuna stew. stew. Waka mwaka ugari, waka pika stew na hiyo sufuria. I was just there waiting to see magic. Because I mean that kind of food could have been eaten by 15 or even 20 people. I'm telling you, ugari. Nusu, you know, two kgs and a half, that three kgs, unga. My friend, the young man, walito wa shati. Iyo ugali ilisha nikiwa na suba. I'm telling you, atamisi ukula. Wakini yonyesha inafaa kufanya nini? Hey. Uh, I had never seen that. Anyway. Ikaisha. Now, there is a level of teenage Mutu wa juangi Ii njaa konayo Na ii chakula na, ka, na sisi, the current capacity Ya mwiri Iyo mchanganyiko wa yelewi So my nephew, alikuwa naenda Na weka ugari na nini Anaambiwa, weka kidogo Ukimaliza Uongeze Anasema, don't undermine me Don't do what? Undermine me Ananja na nayo. Wapi. Anakula thiri kuota. Hameanza kukasirikia watu. Sababu ameshiba na chakula. Weo mama yaka nambia Marisa tu. Marisa. Sini yawa wana nichakerea. So anajifanya ange Marisa isipokuwa watu wanafanya nini? Wenda weke uko ukalale. Now there are people who will tell God that. Sini yawa nifanya nini? When God gives you an assignment. He doesn't care. Uta chekelewa na nani Uta tharauriwa na nani Uta pendwa na nani Uta pigiwa makofi na nani Actually If we can use even your closest and, I mean a brother or sister To prevent you from finishing it The better The enemy will look for the best strategy To stop the work from going on And I pray that you not give the devil that chance To stop you Amen So whatever happens Continue doing the work of God. Be consistent. Amen. When they realize they can't stop you, they will let you. When I swear, son. They realize they cannot stop you, they will let you. But I tell you, there is no walkover in kingdom service. Glory be to Jesus. There is no walkover in the kingdom service. Lazima ubambane. Amen. Number three, pray for unity. A church that is not united cannot go very far. A family that is not united cannot go very far. If you are not united, you will not achieve much. And I pray that you be united. As a family, pray for the unity. Amen? And the unity of mother and father contribute a lot to the success of the children. Amen? It, it, it can be seen, you know, Unity is also a spirit. 
it is the spirit of togetherness or unity if it is not seen i tell you the truth even in the spirit you see what god want to see cannot be seen in your life where there is unity god commands a blessing i tend to talk to one family and i was showing them the unity of a family is very important but one of the partners in the family felt no i'm superior whatever i say must be done without questioning and i said you know what if that is all what you needed you should have gotten a robot but you realize a word from another is as good as your word so they kept on losing money losing on money and i told them let me tell you a story many years ago i was like that i believed that my wand is final and when god speaks to me he shuts up until the next time until i lost things and i said you know what i need to bring my wife aboard one time i had money and we deliberated and i told my wife mimi nataka kuweka hapa na yeye akaniambia mimi nasikia tusiweke hapo tukabishana akamwambia give me five reasons as to why i should not do it akaniambia mimi sina hata moja but i feel nikamwambia keep your feeling keep your yeah i invested i lost everything she kept her feelings and i kept in my point and the fact i lost everything from that time i realized it is okay to give somebody a chance even when it is a feeling so i told the person please the unity of our family sometimes it says let us wait and let me tell you asara ya watu wawili ni ya maana kuliko asara ya mtu mmoja one of the thing we did in business we were told learn to come together so that you can share what loss in the case of loss and the profit in the case of yeah to invest 10 million 10 of us each or make asara kila mtu ni milioni lakini ukiingiza yote 10 each or make 10 utarogota makaratasi na mtu anaonanga nataka kuomera kuomoka mara moja unachomeka mara mukichomeka as a group you are able to encourage one another one time we were doing a certain project with my wife and uh, I, I kept on feeling like i needed to involve her in every step so we prayed and we were like let's do it so we did it and it needed quite some money when i had invested 2.5 million uh i don't know what happened nikamuka usiku nikaingia kwa facebook saa 8 ya usiku nini nilikuwa nafanya saa 8 ya usiku usingizi imepotea nachukua simu kufungulia tu hivi nikapata ka sms ka, ka ile ya ah nikaambiwa brother ni wewe umechomeka <laughs> umefanya nini where you are caught my friend sema usingizi kuenda kabisa sasa hey i wrote to my lawyer at that time nikampa story nafikiri na yeye kwa melala akayenda through akaniandikia akaniambia did you do due diligence on this and this and the other nikamwambia did this 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 but this one i did not akaniambia i can't help you and you know when a lawyer tells you i can't help you umeisha that morning i woke i my wife akamuka akakuta nimepinduka tu akaniuliza what's happening nikamwambia wacha tulale ndakwambia asubuhi hapana niambie tio mama nayo kimwambia amulali tena mpaka useme afadhali umunda awe afadhali mwambie ukweli nusu mulale but then anyway i told her but let me tell you the joy of this is i had involved her from the beginning our feelings were also invested here are you getting that our feelings were also and my fact were also so hapo <laughs> but let me tell you by the morning god spoke to me and he gave me a clear picture of what to do and i never lost a, sh a shilling god came through for me but one thing i'm telling you is i had a lot of peace to know that my wife knew what was happening 
Her feelings were invested. My facts were invested. Hata kikiumana, hakuna mtu anashindwa anaenda kuambia mwingine namna gani. Now stress ina uanga mtu akigundua ni yeye peke yake anajua hii kitu. So unaona mtu amekonda, amekonda, alikuwa anatembea hivi. Ameanza ku reduce pole po. Na kuheshimu atanawasalimianga hivi. Si salamu. Alafu anaanza kujiongelesha, anaanza kuvaa barakoa tena. Ana, unajua kwa nini anavaa barakoa? Ndio usione na jiongelesha, you know. In the process and I want to encourage all of us unity is very important. Am I speaking to somebody? Amen. Unity is very very important. Hallelujah. The Bible says so the wall was built till it reached the height. Why? Because we did it in unity. Amen. Our hearts were together. In other words, even if there is opposition and you are united, you can overcome. I give a story of three cows that got lost in the forest. There was a black, a brown, and a white cow. Wakiwa kwa musitu, wakapotea. You know, I'm a, you know the, the, the shepherd could not find them. So, wakamua kuishi pamoja. Usiku moja, simba akawavamia. Alipo wavamia wote, wakamuka, wakavamia simba. Simba akaenda. The following day, Simba akaja. Ay, wakamuka, wakamuvamia, akaenda. Simba akagundua. United, a group of cows united, a hand of cows united, can fight a lion. So what did he do? He started asking, how will I eat these cows? Akajua, nikuwa ongeresha. Aka time the black cow. Aka mumuita. Aka mambia, you know, siya tinakuanga na ubaya. Nikuamba tu munaonekana sana usiku Because of the white We kuwa mwerefu Kaa peke yako Mana ukiwa peke yako Kwa giza and you are black Uonekani you are safe alone Ya Na kweli ya kaangalia kaona The white one Ndi anatu Anatu sariti So usiku Walipolala Akatai makajiondoa Ndi asioneka Akaenda peke yake. Akiwa peke yake chimba. Aka mukula yeye. Nari mpea device. Oh, akakula chimba siku bili, tatu hivi, nyama sikaisha. Aka toke, aka hita brown. Kamuliza black alienda wapi. Sijui. <laughs> black aliguliwa. What happened? Ali, ni white alimusariti. Unajua kikana white, munaonekana sana. Be wise. Ondokea the white one. So, ah, at night walipolala, the brown one, naya kajiondoa, dia sionekane sababu angarawi ya ni brown, na usiku, he can come off range very well. So, ah, kuriwa. Do you think the white one was given any advice? But they could have won, they could have lived in the forest, if they were united. And I tell you, the secret of Nehemiah was in unity. The threats are coming, but we are united. Amen. Opposition has come, but we are united. I pray that as a church, we remain united. As a family, we remain united. Glory be to Jesus. That is the, the secret. And as a leader, never allow yourself to be divided. There are enough reasons as to why we can divide each other. One of the reasons is we are all never the same. And we all never see things the same. As a leader, you must be willing to work with the diversity of the people. Amen? There are people who talk too much. Give them a chance to talk. There are people who never talk. Usiambia huyu aongeangi akai huko, na huyu anaongea sana enda. No, bring them together. Amen? There are those who have been to school. There are those who have never been to school. As a leader, please allow Thus, those diversities to come. Kuna watu wajui kuongea. Do you know that? Kuna mutu ata kwa siyasa. Uwe na sikia wana siyasa wakisema, ay ui mutu, akiongea, akifungua mundomo kula zinaenda kumi. Akifungua ingine miambiri. What are they saying? But let me tell you, the same person, na heye, he is a very strong mobilizer. So you realize, these politicians have a way of keeping each other. 
but in church ah we are doing kuongea we are doing kufanya hii and we lose it it is in our unity that we succeed bwana asifiwe sana let us be united the one who can't sing akiwekwa asipopewa microphone aimbe tu kama vile nilikuwa naimbia pale sote tuliimba are we together yule awesi shika ki aseme oh iongozwe na yeye imbange huko huko akitoka asema church yetu my friend wimbo wimbo unashika unaimbanga sana tuimbie na asema siwezi imba wimbo wa bwana ugenini kwa sababu there's a psalm that says like that amen how will i sing the song of the lord alone <laughs> amen but in church we do so much one is the son i still give this example of my son moses he kept telling me that wesi nunua gari kubwa naambia moses when i get some money we will buy and he used to be disturbed kila wakati so siku moja moses came to my house uh, to my bedroom I can tell I think it was one shilling or 10 shilling can remember but it was a coin. I can be a dad. Ongeza hii ununue gari. 10 bob. Ongeza hii ununue gari. And I kept it. Of course I retained it but later when we got the vehicle he was so excited. Be a dad. Tumenunua gari. Uliongeza ile pesa ukanunua eh? Nikamwambia ndio. Can you imagine he felt like he is a share owner in this car. Although it is one shilling or ten shilling, but he became what? A share owner. And let me tell you, even as when we say we are serving God, we are just like Moses and his father. God can do it without us, but he is happy giving you a chance to partner with him. God can do it. God says if you don't sing for me I can raise stones and they will sing. Bwana sio sana. And it is true. God can do that. Have you ever been to a place and defied the demons talking? Inapiga mbinja na ujui zinatoka wapi? Naangalia. Naangalia. We went to pray for one family wanapigwa mawe hawao mnakaa hivi ndio hiyo man mawe you know hawakuri mtoto anayekewa chakula akianza kukula inachoto mchanga inawekwa kwa sahani one family you know one of my friend bishop wa embakasi deliverance church naye he was telling me naye alienda kule alienda kuhubiri akasema ebu nisaidie na kitu stiff akaenda akasema yeye amini mambo ya uchawi so ameenda hapa uh, chini uh, idhanga you know idhanga eh? akapika akikula zaidi anataka kukula kiti peke yake ikafanya hivi kiti ameangalia haelewi ni nini ikasunguka hivi ikakaa hivi ikaanza kumchezea kama break dance ya kiti Ananiambia apostle ni sikudanganya nilipiga nduru. Because all the time alikuwa anaambiwa hapa kuna mapepo. Anasema mapepo kitu gani? Bwana asante sana. When he saw this, he could not believe it. Then he says at night, amelala. Agasikia kwa mabati kaba. 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 Ni Mumeru akatoka na panga. Mumeru sira ya kwanza ni nini? akatoka akafungua na torch akamulika hakuna mtu akamulika around hakuna akarudi akirudi akasikia kaba kaba hii the following day akiwa staff room akaanza kupea watu story akamwambia mimi jana usiku nilikuwa nasikia mtu na ninaona mabati na bondeka nikipanda juu bwana hakuna mtu ninatoka na panga hakuna mtu <laughs> ndugu mmoja akamwambia ndugu umetembelewa So that's when he realized demons can do things Then he says mze moja alikuwa na mapepo hapo akaokoka He had a big house Akasema when you have missions mnaweza kuja mnalala hapa 
wakaja wakala hawakujua mapepo hii nyumba ilikuwa dedicated to demons and they did not even go there to pray usiku mkono inaingia kwa dirisha inachuna mtoto wa missionary inamchuna na inatoka now you can see when god says if you don't worship me or sing for me i can raise stones he can do exactly that so it is a privilege to serve the lord even to do something for god it is a privilege bwana sio sang and so these people were united and they worked together and so they got that level the next thing you see with nehemiah is he had a strong strategy i said last week leadership is about strategy and look at verses number 4 number 9 sorry see the strategy he employs bandala ya kazi simame he says when all this thing is happening we prayed to our we prayed to our god and the posted guard day and night to meet this threat bandala ya vita kusimamisha kazi wanasema wewe na wewe na wewe mkae nje wakija mudiru na wao tuendelee kujenga you know what happens sometimes in church kitu kifanyika kama hii everybody stop whatever they are doing wanaenda kutafuta adui in 1984 kulitokea tumumbwa tulikuwa tunaitwa T9 do you remember that T9 ilisemekana mumbwa ako ka T9 ilikuwa tumumbwa twa nyerere tulitoroka waweleva so one time tukiwa hapo tunalima nikasikia woi 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 ni 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 T9 it nine ilikuwa imefukuzwa na watu kutoka 9 kilometers away so what used to happen is mnakuja mkitoka ruai mkifika kamuru mkitoka kamuru mkifika ruai watu wa kamuru wanawajoin na ni kamboka kamoja kanafukuzwa mnakuja mkifika jiro wa jiro wanajoin so mnakuta vijiji kama tatu ikikibiza kamboa nasi kakuja tukilima ni nini ni nine na sisi unakuta vijiji kama saba nothing is happening tulikibiza huo huo ako kamnyama watu walikuwa kutoka 10 km nini si tuka join 5 tukaenda tukakauria kwa forest then finally kuangalia ilikuwa mambo ya kawaida ilikuwa imeuma mtu hapana mlijua je ni 9 tuliangalia kwa mambo tukaona si kauku That's how we concluded it is what Do you imagine waze na vijana na nini vijiji kama tano azikufanya kazi hiyo siku Jeremiah Nehemiah niu tukiachilia watu wakapigana na kina Tobias na nani hakuna kazi itafanyika So choose a few men mwanziwa wewe na fulani nyinyi mkae kwa gate sisi tuendelee kufanya nini In church if you don't have that kind of a strategy you can never serve the lord amen then we can also give your money assignment every time you get a pesa too shetani anapeana assignment you need to get to a place and say you know what whether it comes or not this money was meant for god we will do god's work kwa sababu tusipoweka ukuta pande ile shetani atafungua ukuta pande ile ingine and i have told people some people suffer so much because they don't post guard in some places you know you need to get to a place where you say no matter what happened i will not compromise what is god's because i need protection i need god to fight for me amen but there are people unagutanga anapiga ugonjwa wa pande hii ukimaliza unatokea pande hii ukimaliza unatokea pande hii i realized in my ministry mtu mimi nikiombea mtu aponi the first thing i ask are you a tither because the bible says pay your tithe and what will happen i will fight the devourer so i ask somebody you have a tither be oh you know old testament okay then akuacha kwa sababu you realize you never get financial breakthroughs in any other way and i tell people you can try because people think oh you know pastor now we live the akule by the way You can give money and I will still not eat it. Amen. You can because if it is not to be eaten, I should not eat. And it is not God's way of raising money, tithe. No, 
it is God's way of raising men. Whenever God wants to bless you, he ask you for something. Abraham, can I have your son? Oh, yes. As, okay, now I know you love me. I'll bless you with real riches. And your descendants will be as many as the stars. What, where did he begin? By testing. The highest level of God testing your ability to do his work, he'll test you by your level to give. Amen? Are we together? So I tell people, and you know, I said the other day, people who don't give, people who never tithe, and then they want me to pray for them, it becomes very hard. Mana yo vita ni ya mungu. Mungu asemangi, toa, na mimi, nitatuma pasta kuombe. No, he says give. And then I, God, will fight the devourer. Are we together? Now, what we are toy, I love when I am the apostle. It's like one time, kwetu ni kumari kuna ndovu wana toke anga. So, tukasikia ndovu. Tukaita ndogi. That was the last time we saw that dog. Kalika nyangu wa hivi. Kaka ingia chini. Watu wana nituma hivo. Andui wa mungu. See what level you are to. And when God says, I will deal with the devourer, my friend, <laughs> eh? I don't want that, Steve. Where deal na iyo? So that na mimi, ni deal na utu to my pepo, utu, utu to akuchuna watoto na dirisha. I can deal with that. Na hawa kuimba, kudance kiti, na kuweka muchanga kwa chakula, we can deal with that. Lakini, when God says, I will deal with the devourer, I will leave that. I told one couple, you know what, servants of God, as long as you are not givers, your church will not grow. You will attract people who have problems, and you will have problems. They never believed. And I'm telling you the truth. They were from one trouble to another. One trouble to another. I said, you know what, close that church. It will never work. They never believed. Let me tell you, it was chaotic. And I couldn't tell. Until you believe in the principles of God, you can never serve that God. Nehemiah knew you must have the right strategy. One of the strategies in, a, in our lives, you must always be a giver. Amen? Position people who can fight by the gate. Giving is one of the ways you position security. By the gate, so that mambo ingine yasipitia hapo. Glory be to Jesus. So the strategy, and you see it in verse number 13 and verse 16 to 19. That's what he did. He made sure there are people who are stationed, who are fighting, and who are doing the good work. But also as a leader, you must learn to encourage your people. And you can see that in verses number 14. Oh, glory be to Jesus. When you are leading people, encourage them. Amen? There are people who have given some work to do. Lakini ukiwapea, unamuashia ngurupu ya watu tano, the next time unamukuta peke yake. Why? Why are you working alone? Mimi nisema, afadhani nifike binguni peke yangu, nilambia utafika. By the way, kufika binguni peke yako ni ngumu sana. Cynthia, work with the people, mutafika mkua wengi. Even those who don't seem like encourage them to work. Amen? Encourage them. Verses 14. After I looked over, uh, after I looked things over, I stood up and descend to the nobles and the officials and the rest of the people. Do not be afraid of them. Remember the Lord who is great and awesome and they fight for your families, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your homes. Glory be to Jesus. Encourage people. Look back and see. You know, when I was a young man, before even married, I was known to drive fast. As the nation can tell you that. Mimi ni judikano na kuendesha. Watu ligua natoka ngambu wana kuja wanambu kifika. Look for Patrick. I used to be paid to drive people. You, you don't know that. My friend, I used to sit on the... I remember one time we were driving to answer um, Nanyuki Omeru. 
polisi pali walituonea na wameweka barriers waliona hii gari haitasimama and i tell you the truth walituondolea barriers maana waliona hii ni kifo nikaenda nikasimamisha hapo nikawauliza habari zenu they could not believe it i could control that vehicle wow nijiamini namna gani one time i carried mrs kamau and her family when that time they were expecting stacy you know nimeenda kufika embu nikakuta bump ambayo haikuwa iliwekwa kama hiyo jioni nilionea hapa i i na walikuwa like uh, two weeks <laughs> to edd nikajua hii nikikonga hii tunaongeza mtu extra kwa hii gari but somehow at 140 km per hour i was able to manage nikakanyanga emergency nikapea mafuta gari ikaland ikaland pole pole i tell you should have people clap should have been seen people clapping for me nikama safari rali oh man i was good in speed today i tell someone now i can't allow you to drive me at 100 unless nimekupima sana and incidentally even me i no longer drive fast Do you know what happened when I am got married and I got my first daughter my first born to nimeendesha gari nimefika 150 dikaanza kusikia mtoto akilia kwa engine lakini ita dad 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 nika slow down nikikimbia sana nasikia anga mke wangu akiniita so I slow I tell young men when we are young you don't know the responsibilities because of the responsibility god has given me i can't afford to do some things nikiumia kidole hii dogo peke yangu hii kasi mingi sana itasimama are we together nikiumia goti kijana akiumia goti hautamuona church na akija ajali ni nini ni accident mimi nikija hapa hivi i tell you the truth hiyo injiria hiyo siku hakuna mtu atasikia maana mtakuwa mnangoja niwaambie ni nini ilifanyika kweli ama si kweli so i have i have to think i have to be sober i have to know that anything slight i do will affect not just me he was told fight for your wives fight for your sons fight for your brothers and sisters fight for your homes are you seeing that now as you rise encourage people be an encourager Amen. And it saw them a bigger picture. Don't just fight to feel good. Fight because your brothers are the sisters. Amen. Simamia wokovu kwa sababu kuna watu watafika mbinguni sababu yako. Wanakuangalia anga wanasema sababu ya wokovu wa wanko yetu mimi nitasimama. Do you know some of us? I remember the first wedding I went. It was in 1984 Arusi. Nikaona Harusi ikiwa tamu sana. Tulikula ugali. Yeah, harusi ya ugali. I'm telling you the truth. And it was so sweet, so nice. You know how we loved it. And then cake, we didn't know it was called cake. We naita mugate wa wendo. You remember that? We didn't know this, the name of that thing. Hish. And it was so good. The brothers were so organized, the sisters, the songs they sang. And you know I had admired. I said mimi nikioa nitafanya harusi can you imagine that i kept remembering that picture and the person who was doing that wedding that time is the person who officiated my wedding nilikoja sana na huyu aliimba hiyo siku alikuwa pia kwa harusi can you imagine those who are many years later in 1984 and 2005 how many years are those yeah gap your pastor that is 20 something or that something that one i kept on waiting nifanya harusi kama ile huyo mtu hajui lakini alifanya kazi wewe pia wokovu wako you never know you are the people in your village kuna watu katika kijiji yenu wanasemanga nitasoma kwa sababu ya anko yangu nitaokoka kwa sababu ya auntie yangu when you live for the lord it is not just for you alone fight for your brothers your sons your daughters your wives 
and your homes. Give people a bigger picture. Amen. And that's why sometimes I become a bit rough with young people. Mugambi, si kwa No, I like people seeing a big picture. Amen. Nina kanga tu na kuchokora. Because if you usipo chokora vijana, wanaguduanga aya future ndiyo hii. You know that? Dio naonanga tu ikaa tu kichokora, you know? Nikirusha kikitu, you know? Nikikwambia hivi, you know? Wow. Na isikia nikiuza mutu. Wacha nitumia Steve. Utawa alini. Unasikia mutu wa meamuka, ya? Because even me, nilikuwa na kaa hivi naona kama nitawa 10 years from within. Until one lady here, mama na ishimu sana, akani hita kando. Akani ambia, na pastor, na faa uwe. <laughs> I was just a young man. Nesigua naona kama diyo wakati. From that time, nikaenda nikajuliza hala. Kwani nifaa kuwa lini. Nisho nikaanza kuona uwe, na kweli, nisikua nimejipangia 25. Na kweli, niko 28. Na kweli, nikaanza kufikiria Mimi kama siyo swadi Sahi, ah, nikekua brother Patrick <laughs> But it took someone in that group to tell me A very honest one So ukiona Brian nikichokora I'm not saying ni leo I'm only saying start seeing Bigger picture Amen Nikuna mwingine nitaangalia nione If you nava, ujui mezeka Yeah why are you wearing like this? Ni kukuamusha. Brother Steve Leo, I'm using Steve. Steve Leo, akija hapa amevaa socks na sandals. Na amesag. Na amevaa t-shirt ya 50 cent. Na ananiita bazenga. Na atembea hivi. Eh? I tell you the truth tutakuwa na kamukutano na ye na tutakunywa ni kimpima ako sawa ayuko now the same we keep on checking the progression the language is it changing if you created high school last year I will give you a time but after that I want to see you change from Sunday school language to now out of school are we together then I also want to see your relationship changing. I don't want to see you una, una patanga afya shule ikifungwa. No, I want to see you move from this to college to you know, so that life. Are we together? So when you see me ask a question like that, I have nothing against you. Ninataka kufanya nini? Uamuke. There's a brother, I love him. One time he came to give me an offering. I can be a man of God. I can be a man of God. Kula hii Nika yangaria Nika cheka Nika wambia sikuli We ikule Hala Haka changa nyekiwa He Why did you do that Nika wambia brother From when you are in high school Ugo na nipea 50 na 100 Nika kuombea ukapata kazi Bandu ugo kwa 50 na 100 Kwani you have never changed. Is it you or me who doesn't change that I still attract a fifty bob? Kula <laughs> hiyo. You know, akaenda akaongeza ongeza, akanetea mi. I mean elfu moja. Nikamwambia hata hiyo sikuli. Nikamwambia ndugu, I want you to go and give me 20,000. He nilianza kuona na sweat hapa. I know he could afford you know why I'm doing like that? If I don't challenge a son like that, he can be a very mean son. Do the people who are mean even to themselves? Oh yeah. We had a brother, Nyama alikuwa na nunua reject. Now I'm telling you the truth. Anaenda somewhere, somewhere, ana, ana nunua reject, Nyama reject. So one time, what we are coming mujua and he has buildings all over he has money jama you know what they did without due respect wali mfungia placenta nakafungiwa placenta 
na kata hivi inaenda inaanguka huko ikapikwa ikajaa sufuria mama akamuliza ni nyama gani hiyo and this a man was money but he is mean even to himself so as for me as a son as a father i will challenge my son to do that bwana zwe sana and i do it with a lot of love unaona nimeita mtu na mwambia no go change that shoe i know i can even give you a new shoe but i know you can afford amen so if i ever do that take it positively i'm doing that with a lot of love ninakufundisha kujipenda Amen. Na kuji appreciate. Amen. Hallelujah. So that is also part of encouragement. It is challenge you to see you come out. Bwana swe sana. And if you are leader, encourage people. In your group encourage them. Amen. And encouraging people may not be doing much. You are working with the people. Even coming with kila mtu lollipop moja moja moja. You 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 encourage them. Amen. You encourage them to serve. You encourage them to work with you. Bwana swe sana. Even giving people a chance to just relax is an encouragement. But also show people the reason why they should fight. Don't fight for nothing. Fight for your children. Fight for your family. Bwana swe sana. Nehemiah encouraged them saying, "Don't look at the enemies. Look at the people you are fighting for." Sometimes if you fix your eyes on the enemy you lose the strength see why you are fighting nasikia mama akisema akiambia watoto wake i work because of you ndio isikia hivyo i work because of you you are you know the reason why i'm working is because of you i work because you need a home you need to eat and let me tell you even for me i do things because of you amen there are things i do because of you in the church there are sacrifices i make because of you bwana swe sana there is something i could have done for myself but i said for the church let me do this and you know i have a bigger picture bwana swe sana when we built here there are people we don't know but they are going to come because of this place imagine if there was no church uh brother steve would not have come here uh mr and mrs moreover they would not have come here you know ruth you not have been here but the sacrifice of putting this building alone but on a piece of paper wow there is a church here amen and i want to encourage you say when we are building another one build for your children build it for your families bwana swe san build it the other day i met a young man who used to be here in sunday school other siku and you are required sunday school is now a big man uh, brother cannot you remember him you know as we were talking you know he told me i was a sunday school boy in jesus kayore i could not believe it now you hand brother chege's uncle chege is also chege akisema ya alikuwa anapitia huku wakati ya huku na na kitu but when you sacrifice and put a building somebody comes and gives his life to jesus christ na mungu anasema that also is credited to those who work see a bigger picture and encourage yourself with a bigger picture bwana swe sana may the lord bless you and bless his work father we thank you so much for the lessons that you have taught us today help us learn to lean according to your will i thank you lord for each one of us we have learned something that will help us move on and even for those who are watching us online we pray for them and declare that lord the lessons we are learning will change their life or minister to them before us today lord is our communion and i pray for those who are at home who have already prepared their emblems lord i pray that lord as we take this communion together if you are be one with sanuel let the healing come upon them and lord i pray because we are doing this um, with the strength of the finished work on the cross i pray in the name of jesus bless this communion and let the power of the lord be upon it that as we take it to oh god let there be unity that will bring victory in our lives So I declare that these emblems are blessed and Lord as your people take and those who are at home are taking we declare that Lord the supernatural will follow them in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we honor you. We pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Let's have the brand uh, together.
Thank you, Lord. Just come. Amen. So I ask you to come. You pick yours. And please, if you, are, if you are unwell, I want you to know that there is power to heal in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. So in, if you are here and you know you have had a challenge, commit it to the Lord like Nehemiah in prayer. And I say, Father, as I take this communion, I pray in the name of Jesus that you handle my case in Jesus' name. And even those who are online, take this communion together. If you are unwell, do it knowing that the Lord is on your side in Jesus' name. Please come, pick, and then when you pick, you sit back. We take it together in Jesus' name. speak when you pick you, you wait for us so that we can take together in Jesus name Father, thank you for the brand we are about to take. And I pray that, Lord, as we take it, do the supernatural in our lives. And whatever, Lord, we are asking right now, and whatever we assign this communion to, we pray that it will take the supernatural in the name of Jesus. Shall we take the brand and the cup together? Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless your name and we honor you. We glorify you, Lord Jesus. And we leave this place, Lord, with an assurance that it is well with us. It is well with our bodies for those who are unwell. It is well with our souls for those who feel afflicted. It is well in every area that we have committed and we have attached this communion to. We lift you and we honor you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you so much. We are coming to the end of our service. But before we do that, let's give an offering to the Lord. Get into your wallet. Get into your phone. Uh, those who are online, we still have a chance to give to the Lord. The numbers are on the screen. Uh, send your offering. It is a blessing. In Jesus' name, to honor God. You need an envelope. If you need a card, and the usher to make sure that the things are set.
as you are set, just come give your offerings. And then we shake each other's hand as we come to the end of our giving. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Let's now stand and look at your neighbor. Umsalimie. Alafu umutabirie. Maneno haya. Amen. Okay, let's wait for everyone so that we are in the same level. Ngalia kwamba umepata neighbor. Umsalimie. Ukiwa unaona umebaki peke yako, tafuta mutu. Musalimia. Alafu kuwa mamusalimia. Sasa mutabiria maneno haya. And now, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom.